Hello loves, today we have a beautiful guest that I've been haunting like for, <laughs> online for a few times. So this is Patrick and Patrick is amazing in creating communities. Today his voice is a bit off, yeah. but even though he can talk actually, I'm not sure can you talk Delphin language, but maybe <laughs> like, you know, sign language, maybe we can make that. We'll try to make it happen. <laughs> so, Patrick, working on it. Tell who you are, what you're doing and what's inspiring you. Uh, I am Patrick Farrell. I'm originally from Washington DC area, but uh, I've been living in New York for about uh, six years now, or say eight years. Mm -hmm. And then I've actually been just traveling mostly for the last three years. Mm -hmm. So I quit my job and kind of was trying to figure out how to start my passion freedom lifestyle. And from that, uh, I've been all over the world and created two companies at the same time that I'm starting to get to the point where they're starting to uh, to become something, which is pretty cool. And what is the really cool? Uh, so I've been working on software as I travel around the world, and now I also run retreats. So that went really well. We just did one in Croatia um, at a split and went to uh, the islands of Havar and Korchula and create a community at the same time. And uh, it was also a lot about vulnerability and also practical knowledge. Because mm. I think a lot of people come into a spiritual community and mm -hmm. yeah, they become full with themselves, but then how do I actually the move forward? <laughs> well, <laughs> you, need, uh, you need the practical skills. You need to keep moving forward and making your, um, like you need to actually learn how to build a website and uh, do all the practical stuff too. Um, and, and, and gain an audience. So that's mm. what we also talked about on the on the trip. Mm, so mm, mm, helping mm, people with that part of their life and then also giving them software and technology to yeah. uh, get started. You mentioned freedom lifestyle. What is this freedom lifestyle for you? Because for me, like freedom lifestyle is that juicy life that, that we talk about. Um, what, what, what is this? What are the, for you the three top factors about this freedom, juicy lifestyle <laughs> where everything is possible, everything is cool, you can go, you can float, you can work, you can have fun, you can create communities? My freedom life is that I can be wherever I want to be in the world. Um, my, I feel like I'm able to uh, make ch choices. I, right now I'm choosing to go to New York City just because I feel like that's where I need to be. Uh, but I was able to be in New York, or sorry, in uh, Croatia for the past two months. Mm -hmm. And it was just um, really cool to choose to be here. And I chose to be at Mind Valley, and I chose to um, spend time with amazing people. And then the energy I get out, I give out, I get back. So it's just like, it's just so cool to, to be able to choose what you want versus having some boss or whatever tell you, you have to be here or you only have like two weeks of vacation a year, which is very common for Americans. So um, now I've been able to create a life that I truly love. Mm. So if you narrow, if you narrow your life towards the juicy life, what would that be for you? The juicy life. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's uh, it's just helping other people, um, promoting unity, um, creating things for people that uh, that I truly like. See a spark in their their eye, and like I do acro yoga. So um, we had a couple. Mm -hmm. acro, yeah. <laughs> we had a couple acro yoga sessions here at Mind Valley. And it was really cool to just see like, there's, I don't know if you've ever been to Tony Robbins. Yeah, you've been to Tony Robbins, of right? The, the fire walk, right? It's yeah. like getting people past that limiting belief and that fear. Mm. And Acro Yoga is a great fire walk for me because I get people to like see that fear and mm. then they overcome it. And in, in just a few seconds, he goes from fear to bliss. And then yeah. they're excited about life. And when they get excited about life, I get excited about <laughs> life because I think that more people in this life need to come alive more people in this life need to be actually live life because mm. this is a gift and we should we should treat it as such the fact that we're just even here on this planet is a gift oh, so every day. we should appreciate that and gratitude every day gratitude first thing every day. in the morning you wake up thank you for me <laughs> being a savior to you in absolutely bed, in yeah. my healthy body yeah, yeah totally totally tell me about like what's a joyful thing for you is joyful in your business what is it being joyful in your business means for you uh seeing seeing something i create come to life um so I have a couple of clients that I work for right now, and uh, it's cool to see a product that I helped make come to life and mm. actually work. And that's why I love software is just like, you can like have this idea uh, and then like a week or a few hours or six months later, all of a sudden that idea comes to life and now it's actually a thing. So it's, it takes a lot of work sometimes to get it there, but mm. once it comes to life, 
um, it's pretty exciting. So I have products that I'm trying to create now. It's just like I love getting the idea and saying, okay, this is the vision, and now make the vision into reality. Mmm, yummy, yummy. That is really joyful. Yeah. Unapologetic. Which situation have you like? Did you walk through your past that would be like super authentic? unapologetic where you had some trouble but you had to actually stick to either your values or follow something out of like real trouble that really brought you up. I had some trouble with uh, when I start, first started this uh, journey. I What would be your troubles? What was that? Uh, yeah, my, to, to share with our yeah, community yeah, yeah. that they're not alone course. that you can yeah, yeah, like, still be there. Um, my, when I start, first started this journey I, mm -hmm. I, wanted to, I, made, I wanted to make a jump. I wanted mm -hmm. to quit my job. I quit mm -hmm. a relationship, a yeah. uh, apartment, and a life yeah. in New York. Mm -hmm. And it was a big struggle to get to the point where it's like I wanted a relationship back. Mm -hmm. I wanted my mm -hmm. life back that was consistent. Um, and um, but I but I knew that if I just kept moving forward, yeah. um, that I was going to create an even better life. And like even though I wanted um, to. Um, have a lot of like I, I missed that whole life um, and I missed the relationship and I missed the apartment mm. and everything like that but I knew that I was building something that I really would cherish forever mm. and now my life is fantastic and now I can actually go back to New York now and create a whole new life with the, the knowledge that I have and it's like it's been very confidence building this past month that people actually need this stuff. People need love, what kindness, is. and um, spirituality, and just like get, getting tools and resources to come alive and actually share your message with the world. So what are your tools how to actually implement all that stuff <laughs> back into communities? I run 21-day uh, content challenges, which really help people get past their limiting beliefs because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't want to post on social media mm -hmm. um, because they fear feel fearful mm -hmm. that they are not going to um, have a voice or mm -hmm. they're not going to resonate with an audience mm -hmm. um, but once they actually start that that thing um, we got a few people talking <laughs> no worries. that's okay uh, we're like everyone's passing by and everyone's to greet us and we're like no 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 <laughs> we're trying to record the interview <laughs> it's all good um, so what was I saying? Uh, love oh, in communities. Uh, yeah, so community love. and, and yeah. helping people get a voice on social media is one of my tools. Um, so that 21 day challenge really gets people past those limiting beliefs. Um, I am creating software to get people started because I want, like I have struggled heavily for the past three years to get a platform for me to build products on top of. Mm. Like there's just so much time and energy. And, like we literally keep reinventing the wheel. So now I'm trying to give tools to other software developers to awesome. get started from. Awesome. Awesome. So that awesome. way they don't have to like sp spin their wheels forever and this ever is and ever. Great. We're gonna take the link from your from your for your platform that is yeah. and and put it below the interview so that everyone can can really get to the beautiful tool that you have. What is what is the best Think for you like how do you create communities what are your like the top <clears throat> secrets about creating communities creating communities is it's kind of an art I think um, mm -hmm. I'm still learning but uh, when did you learn that <laughs> I think what works what being vulnerable work? is super important um, yourself because as soon as you're vulnerable you enable somebody else to be vulnerable mm -hmm. and that vulnerability creates connection Mm. So when you create connection, that's the that's the start of building a community, and it starts with just one person. So within Mind Valley, I've seen so many things like happen where I created acro yoga classes, and with the acro yoga class, I could see like this like little small like community start forming. It was great, mm -hmm. and then those people would hang out, and then all of a sudden those people would interact with other people, and there would be mm -hmm. like an art community, and then yeah. those communities would kind of like merge together. Yeah, and you can see like it literally in time how it becomes one mm. and it's just so important mm. to create mm. small communities find the people in the community that want to have similar interests so it's like go create a chat for all the people that want to do acro yoga go create a chat for all the people that want to uh, yeah, paint you did that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah we did that and we yeah. go create a chat for all the people that want to um, learn about energy healing go create a chat for people that want to learn about social media and then create events because Life is not on this phone, by the way. You guys like watching this. It's great that you're watching this, but also get off the freaking internet. Go interact with people in real life because this is a tool not to suck you in, to get you out, to get you out into person, to enable you to go 
actually have experiences with other people and be bold because I often at the events I run I'm like okay look around you look at what happened and then go home and create this yourself it's not about me it's about you it's about you creating this for your community for your experiences because this is all what we want right we want less loneliness we want to experience life together so by us working together going to events together and then taking the ideas from those events and going to create our own things that's when magic happens and that's when the world starts becoming like that's when the world all these little communities around the world can start being one big community wow this is awesome hi guys hey. <laughs> hello so how do you use actually the spiritual gift that you started to get on your journey into your work into your business how so do you implement that? The spiritual gifts is so like, it's really just about- Wisdoms or yeah, whatever is there. It's becoming full of myself first. Um, I went to Tony Robbins and like realizing that I have something of value to offer to the world. Um, realizing that the knowledge I have and the, the things I've done, nobody else has done in the world, right? It's like every single person in the world has done a different journey, right? Yeah. So yes, you may have gone to Tony Robbins, mm -hmm. but your journey at Tony Robbins was different than mine, right? Of course. Like every yeah. single one of us has a different journey through this life. Yeah. So that means that each and every single one of us on this planet has a different story to share with other people and yeah. can make a difference. So, um, so yeah, like I just started realizing how to become full of myself, mindfulness, meditation, breath work, um, all these tools, be more vulnerable. Like I used to be kind of like really awkward and still am sometimes about looking oh, at yes, people's really? eyes, right? <laughs> eyes, people, people's eyes, right? They don't like it. But I've gotten much more used to it and I'm still, still working on it. Um, mm. But it's definitely like now it's not so hard to stare in somebody's eyes for two And being minutes. awkward, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. no, owning, your, owning your awkwardness too. It's, it's interesting. Yeah, it's fun to be awkward yeah. sometimes. Yeah, it's not but too if bad. But you, if you're awkward together, then it's more fun because yeah. then you can share this awkwardness and goofiness and being absolutely weirdo with others because <laughs> there are a lot of weirdos outside. <laughs> it's okay. When we find our weirdos and we work with our weirdos, it, it becomes a lot of fun too. <laughs> yeah, then you're not weird alone. You're weirdo together. Then yeah. your weirdness is doesn't stick so much outside, right? Yeah. So becoming be owning that, like I'm a redhead. When I was in middle school, <gasps> guess me what too, happened? Me too, me too. <laughs> yeah. Like this time I also became a redhead. <laughs> But, but when you're in middle school, you're different. And when you're different, people tease you or whatever. Mm, and bully you and, and that was yeah. like, at the time, it was not the most fun thing. It wasn't the most debilitating thing for me, but it was not the most fun thing. And now, like, I own it. Like, I write my red hair. I'm unique. So own it. And that's why I'm actually the ginger nomad on Instagram and everywhere else. <laughs> like, all right, I guess There's I'm, no one else, uh, like, unique like I'm you, a ginger, right? right? I'm a nomad. So it's memorable. So create things, create things that are memorable. So basically what Patrick made, like he took his uniqueness and made the brand out of this. So everyone recognizes who is Patrick. Ah, this redhead, cool guy that is nomadic, who is creating communities. And everyone knows who is the Patrick, right? Yeah. Around the world. It's beautiful. What is yummy for you in yummy? your life? Yummy. Yeah. Um, I don't know, can you give me an example of something for you? Yummy for me, oh, so many things is either something sensual or something what tastes well or something what excites me a lot or something. Uh, okay, so I'll give you the so example from last weekend. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't used to love electronic dance music and festivals. I love electronic dance music and festivals. And so I went with a group of five of us down to Ultra and Split and just had an, really an amazing that. weekend <laughs> and partied until five o'clock in the morning. I've never had so much energy in my life. And it's like, we talked about it here where find the things in your life that you love doing that actually give you energy. And going to Ultra last weekend gave me energy. It was just like a ton of fun to be there with a bunch of thousands of people listening to incredible music and that the music actually brings people together. It's yeah. like music, totally. there was 80, 80 countries represented at this yeah. event. So what's yummy for me is seeing that that's possible, seeing that bringing people together without any hate or fear or whatever is possible, and then just really having a really amazing time together. And that's where I was like, that's ultimate freedom too. It's mm. like when you're just together with a group of your friends watching music that you love and, and just being you, that's yummy and that's just like an incredible time wow so what's the exciting thing that you're looking forward to that will come to you next 
half a year? What next are you half of the year? Um, really looking forward to getting my business going. Um, maybe a relationship, but that's secondary right this minute. I put my Wheel of Life at Tony Robbins, mm -hmm. and I can see how, I don't know, mm -hmm. if, you've never, if you've never done the Wheel of Life, I highly recommend it. It's really cool to see where you're really full in your life and where you're not so full. Mm -hmm. So like my mission, super full. Like I'm like tan on my mission, like I know what I'm doing now. Um, finances and stuff, it's okay. It's not great. It's not terrible, but it's not great. So if I can get my business and my, my finances up, that part of the circle is going to fill out. And then that could go into relationships and like the rest of my life or like travel and whatever. Um, so I'm really excited about building my business. I am a little bit excited about maybe getting a relationship, but mostly about the business. <laughs> Okay, that means that your relationship needs to go together with your business. Yeah, yeah. it needs. To, I need to be full first. Um, right now, I'm excited because I've gotten so much confidence of what I've been doing here at Mon Valley, and um, started putting together webinars. So I'm going to do a mm. webinar. So we just did the the Zero to Millions workshop, yeah. which is the first one, mm -hmm. and I got some really great feedback. So yeah. I'm going to start creating a webinar about that, and then just that, like helping people more. I mean, yes, unfortunately, this is the real world we live in. We have to make money at it. But I just want to well, help more people. It's fortunate. You can make <laughs> fortunate. <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, we're still fortunately, like, yes, fortunately. actually. Because with this money, we can create so many great yeah. stuff in the world, right? That's true. And actually, that's a mm. good point, right? We need to show up every day because there's so many people in the world that will take your money for the wrong reasons. Yeah. We need to show up every day because we want to give good things and positive energy and amazing things to this world. So that we should make money at that and you really really do need to make money at that because money makes money's energy and if I can have more money then I can create more exciting events I can do more things I can go yeah. to more places you can pay so, people for things that they love yeah and they can contribute to your vision it's actually a gift I just yeah. thought about that like yeah. hiring somebody is a gift right yeah. hiring somebody to do a job that they love is a gift yeah. and we should make money so we can hire people to do what they love and help it. us and like do what I love and too. help the mission yeah so it's pretty cool what is your animal sound what is my animal sound yeah I really I thought about that one um, <laughs> I really like dolphins like uh, dolphins are oh, really can we fun. talk dolphin language yeah, I can't do it but you can <laughs> no I can't do it today <laughs> not today but I do really love dolphins uh, and I went on the boat trip we saw these dolphins swimming around the boat with us it was so incredible yeah so we can do the sounds of this animal that live on the bottom floor because it's gonna good it's gonna be good for you for your voice like okay <laughs> <laughs> okay what is your favorite fruit favorite fruit mangoes mangoes oh welcome to the mango club I love so that was patrick Yes. Mango lover, <laughs> <laughs> Mango lover, mission, mission, transmission, programmer, nomad, yes. Jihan. Hopefully next time you guys see me, I won't talk like this. I apologize. But. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. You're unique. Like you have like now this like it's great very deep voice. voice. Oh yes. yes. Very deep voice. The, the, your future relationship gonna really appreciate. That. <laughs> By the way. So guys, where can we find more of you? Um, for more of me, follow me on Instagram at the Ginger Nomad. Um, I'll be having a website come up, thegingernomad.com soon. Um, if you want access to the software, um, just send me a message on Instagram and I'll give you the link. And uh, also Medium, I'm, I have a big presence on Medium. So yeah. medium.com slash yeah. at the Ginger Nomad. You have to mm -hmm. add, actually add the at symbol on Medium. Yeah. So Last message from your heart. If you can plant your hands on your heart and then say the message with eyes closed. Mm. What the world needs the most right now. The world needs more people to come alive. Yeah, the world needs more people to come alive and really care about the world right now. Thank you. Thanks, guys.